So there's our team list. And let's get on with the break. So as mentioned, my name is Jimmy. I have an um, Instagram account. I call it Cardboard Adventures. And I pretty much just talk about um, my adventures collecting. And I definitely share lots of cards for many different eras. Hi, Adam. Welcome. And hi, Clint. Can everyone just, um, can someone just send me a quick message on the chat feed, just making sure they can hear me correctly and the video is displaying correctly as well? Right, guys i'm just waiting for a verification um that you can hear me okay and then we'll get going Hi there, Kevin. Welcome. I'm still not getting verification uh, that you guys are able to hear me. So, um, again, just someone please uh, post it in the thread that you can hear me okay. I will get going. Um, just let me know that you can hear me on the audio. All right, so we're into our first uh, pack, and we hit a Ty, Delandria, Young Guns, so we'll get that sleeved up right away. And as mentioned, all of our uh, hits will be mailed to you guys. Oh, sweet. And we actually pulled a jersey card. That's pretty cool. These, uh, I believe, aren't quite common to pull. They're not worth a whole ton, but yeah, game jerseys are 1 in 361 packs. So that's not a bad little hit right there. And I'll carefully just sleeve that one up. And if anybody had any questions during the video about anything to do with collecting, uh, I know I've chatted with a lot of you so far on eBay. So if there's anything you'd like to me discuss on camera about collecting, any questions you might have, uh, feel free to put it in the chat thread and I'll be happy to answer. We have a Jacob Voracek, uh, NHL Worldwide. So I'll get that sleeved up for you. And if anyone missed their team assignment uh, at the start of the video, you weren't here, you can message me in the chat thread as well, and I can let you know what team you have. Uh, we have another Young Guns, Alex Bazile. And we are looking for the French variations, plain clothes variations, all that good stuff.
And it looks like we might have another hit in here. An insert of some kind, perhaps. Yes, it's the French version. Uh, Matthew to Chuck. So it just says variant Francais. Sorry, my French is very poor. And I'm just going to double check that the sound is okay. Just one moment. All right. I just checked on my live feed. Sounds like the sound is good. So no one has any questions at all about anything to do with collecting. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Leon Dreisaitl. Don't be shy and uh, don't feel like it's a silly question. I've been collecting for a very long time and I have a lot of knowledge that I'd like to share. So please ask away in the chat box. You can just type it in the chat box and let me know. And as mentioned, I do run my Instagram account called Cardboard Adventures. So please check me out if you don't have an Instagram account. And that's Jack Eichel NHL Worldwide. I do suggest uh, signing up. The community is awesome. And there's just uh, lots of nice people out there that you could uh, trade with, talk sports with, all that good stuff. And I do also want to tell you guys about a subscription service that I do have. It is with... Um, get it shipped international.com. So it's a great way if you're in Canada, especially to uh, have a mailbox in the US. We have a Tukarask upper deck portraits. So it's a great way to have all your items shipped to one convenient location. You can ship it out. If you use my promo code cardboard adventures, that's all capitals, then you can get a 55% discount on your subscription for any. Uh, month duration. I use the service. I order, I get all my cards in the US shipped to one location, and we also order clothes for our daughter. And we have a Ryan McLeod Young Gun. Edmonton has just been crazy this year with McDavid and Dryasidal uh, just lighting it up. I love the Canadian division. I know I've said that I'm probably on pretty much every break that I've done, but I really am enjoying the new format right now in the NHL. It's a lot of fun. And sometimes something new and different is always good. And we have a Pierre Oliver Joseph Young Guns. And of course we are hoping for the Alexis Lafreniere Young Guns. He's certainly off to a slow start, but he does have tons of talent, and I think that he will figure it out sooner rather than later. So we have a Brian Rust Upper Deck Canvas card. Rust is actually a pretty talented player. I think he scored about 29 goals last year. And uh, I believe we have a question about a team assignment. So under how, Mike, how you have spot 15, which is Minnesota Wild, and spot 18, which is New Jersey Devils. All right, and we have a Connor Hallibuck upper deck canvas. Always just double checking for variations because it's just in small text. And if anyone wants to know their team assignment, uh, you can just feel free to message in the chat box.
and we are on our way now from almost being down the first box. And we have a Timothy Lindgren Portraits Rookie. And we should have one more Young Guns, I believe. Actually, no, more. There's six per box. I always forget there's six in Hobby. And it's funny because some of these cards are actually quite stuck together. You usually get that after a couple of years. But uh, So we have Predominant, of Kyle Palmieri. And again, just going through all the base just to make sure that we're not missing any of the variations. And we have a John Marino debut dates. I did manage to, in my last break, get a lot. I actually got one box that had a clear cut Young Guns, which is one in 288 packs. And I also got a um, honored numbers, I believe, of Michelle Goulet. And that one is number 200. That's what was the one in 900 packs. And that came out of one box. And we have a predominant of Jack Eichel. Nice looking insert. Eichel's off to a slow start this year, but I definitely think the Sabres have a lot of talent. And they will figure it out. And that is very thick. Normally, they're on thinner cardstock. So it actually looks like some sort of variation. Predominant. Like a gold version, perhaps? That's the first one I've pulled like that. So we'll just take a quick look on the back. Predominant. There's definitely a lot of different hits you can get. Oh, wow. Predominant gold peril. Parallel, one in 260 packs. So that's really cool. Now I'll go to the Buffalo Sabres. And, oh, nice. We actually have a Young Guns Canvas. Rookie of Ollie Jolove. Obviously not the canvas we're looking for, but... Uh, I believe those are um, harder to pull. And we'll just make sure we don't have any French variations or plain clothes SPs. Usually, if you get a hit in a pack, you don't get one of those. So, so far, we're definitely breaking the odds on our box right now. Not doing too bad. I haven't seen any Dazzlers yet, which I know are incredibly popular. And we have a rookie retrospective, retrospective of Capo Caco. Some of these names are really hard to pronounce these days. But that's good. We're getting lots of different uh, nationalities entering the NHL. Uh, it's nice to see the mix. Of different players coming in. And we'll most likely have uh, another hit in here. It's perhaps a Dazzlers. Yes, we have a Nikita Kucherov Dazzlers. Very nice looking card. And I believe it's the pink ones that are actually the tougher ones to pull. President Panther, um, 
Can you just let me know your name and I can tell you? I just messaged you in the chat box. I can take a look for you. And we're really having some cards that are sticking like crazy here. So it's a bit challenging to get some stuff open. Oh, nice. We have Timothy uh, Lindgren, Young Guns. That's the first one that I've pulled of him. I know the leaks are quite high in him, but um, haven't really seen much from him yet. I know he's young and defensemen take time, some more time to uh, develop. And we just have a few packs left in box one. And then we'll move on to our next box. All right, and we have Igor Zamula, Young Guns. So if I believe we have our six. All right, Colby is wondering what team he got. So I'll just take a quick peek before I move on. Colby. Colby, you have Pittsburgh Penguins. All right, three packs left in this box. And we have a uh, Thomas Shabbat Upper Deck Portraits, the very talented defenseman for the Ottawa Senators, which are definitely not a strong team, unfortunately, but he is definitely a very talented player that I'm sure a lot of teams would like to have. Okay, and we have a Connor McDavid predominant. So I'll just show that in a minute after I verify all our base cards here that are stuck together. So we have a predominant of the NHL scoring leader, which is really nice. And I feel like Upper Deck always delivers the goods. They always have very nice looking uh, photos and interesting ideas. And of course, the nice thing with Series 1 or Series 2 is they're always available, uh, you know, at the Walmart. Uh, but I guess lately with the hobby and it being so hot that there is not a lot of product available um, at retail, surprisingly. I haven't seen a lot. Pretty much anything Series 1 sold out of my local Walmart right away. So we have a Zach Cassian Upper Deck Canvas card. And we're just going through our stuck base cards and see anything. So Edmonton's had a few hits, which is nice. So we're moving on to box number two. And we definitely hope that we get some good hits in there. I do have another box break posted right now. It's two boxes of Upper Deck Series 1. And it comes with one box of artifacts as well. I'm really excited for that. I haven't opened any artifacts yet this year, so it'll be interesting. I always enjoy artifacts hockey, and I know it's not super crazy popular. Like people would rather go for series one or two for a more premium products, but I guess I do like patch cards a lot. And you can actually find some decent uh, patch cards on eBay with multiple breaks for, you know, under 10 bucks if you look hard enough. It might not be like superstar guys, but you can definitely find them. And I've just seen someone hit the Lafreniere 
It was some sort of a crazy patch out of artifacts. So it looks like we have a Young Guns right away in our first pack. And it's Artem Zigadulin. I do not know him very well. Hopefully he makes something of himself during his pro hockey career. It looks like I just have some flaking there, so I'll get that off. Okay. And we have a Mario Ferraro um, debut dates card. Look at that one sleeved up. It did have a bit of a corner ding there. That has been, I guess, the challenge with Upper Deck this year. Many people are saying that uh, they've had condition issues. And we have a Tuka Rask Upper Deck Canvas, which is a nice looking card. So we'll get that card sleeved up. I've been pretty lucky with all my packs and boxes. Just with the camera there. Um, you know, I've hit some good cards and they haven't had much damage. My I did pull a Lafreniere and it unfortunately did have a little bit of a surface indent. Oh wow, we're actually doing pretty good here. So we pulled a Gabe Velarde Young Guns Upper Deck Canvas. So it's always nice to pull those Young Gun Canvas. Nice looking card. Personally, I really enjoy the standard Young Gun. I just like the appearance of them better. But some people like the other version better. And the cards look always like nice graded. Which if you are playing on grading, there is a bit of a weight. And we have an Igor Korshkov, Young Guns. So I believe with value service right now, PSA grading is about a six or seven month wait. But you're only paying, depending on your service, ten or twelve dollars a card. That's for the if you uh, have a subscription. So again, if you're not really into the quick flip, then it's not really a big deal to wait for your cards. Um, you know, if you pick stuff that you think might have value down the road, then you don't really need to rush to get it back. Nick Suzuki, we're a year too late for him. And we have a rookie retrospective of Quinn Hughes, the talented Vancouver defenseman, who's really been impressing. There's a lot of nice young defensemen in the NHL right now that are showing good promise. And it's always nice to see those offensive defensemen, especially the smaller guys, getting a good crack um, because you wouldn't get a crack. And the chance that these guys are having now, in the 90s especially, and the 80s to some degree, you had to be big and tough. We have Ilya Samsonov debut dates. I guess he was supposed to be their goalie of the future, but um, Vitek, I forgot his last name, um, right now is just uh, manning the nets for Vancouver. He's doing quite well. It's always wonderful to see players emerge and surprise people. Oh, wow, that is really cool. I didn't even know that they had these. So this is Dominic Kubelik. Debut dates jersey card. Wow, that's cool. We're actually doing really well out of our boxes. Again, I know we're not getting the hits that everybody probably wants, but we are getting some hits, which is nice. And I don't even I didn't even know that they had debut dates jerseys, so I'm curious to look. 
what the odds are on that. So regular debut dates is 1 in 20. I see that there's a um, patch parallel debut dates. Wow, there's a lot on here that you can pull. So this is a patch parallel of 25, but it doesn't quite say. Debut dates Jersey parallel one in 432 packs. So not bad at all. And we have a Nicholas Bodine rookie card. So Chicago is definitely getting a nice break here. It's always interesting opening up a deck series one and two because they always have some nice Easter eggs that you aren't expecting in the set. And we have a Morgan Geeky Young Guns. I know he had a great start. No, oh, I think there's a Tatar card stuck there. He did have a good start to his career with four points in two NHL games. Not a bad start at all. I don't quite know how he's faring at all this year. And we're about halfway down our last box. We have a Mitch Marner Portraits, so lots of Leafs in this break. I am a long-suffering Leafs fan, unfortunately. Hopefully they can have a good year this year. I'm also excited to see the playoffs this year. I think it'll be very different than uh, other years. And I think we pulled another Dazzlers. And it's Steven Stamkos. So we just have, uh, I guess, uh, Tampa Bay Dazzlers only going on right now. It's a nice card. Has a very 90s peel to, uh, appeal to it. So as mentioned, I will get all these cards, uh, well, the hit cards out to you guys on Monday. Wow, we have a good hit here, guys. Connor McMichael, Young Guns. I think that's probably one of the top three Young Guns hits you can get. And I pulled actually two of him so far. Obviously not today, but uh, in a previous break. Actually, I no, I pulled two previous ones in breaks. So he's been following me around, which is a good guy to follow. Uh, he will have probably... Good NHL career. So I must say I'm pretty happy with our pulls so far. And we have Andre Vajlovsky canvas. I do hope that everyone manages to get a hit card. Um, as mentioned in the description, I will send you a card uh, if you don't get a hit card for your team but hopefully everyone ends up with a hit card it doesn't always happen unfortunately but oh wow we're getting another jersey card out of here Kasperi Kapanen so I know he's playing for Pittsburgh right now I don't know his stats I hope that he's doing well that's pretty nice I believe that's one in 260 packs. And I'm just trying to work it into the sleeve. There we are. These boxes must have come from two separate cases because typically 
you don't get that lucky with uh, jersey cards in this product. Again, it's not really a game use focused product. It's all about the young guns. And we have predominant of Carter Hart. He definitely has a good opportunity to represent Canada at the Olympics if they do happen next year. I really hope they do. And we have a Kiefer Bellows Portraits. And we're down to our last quarter, I believe, of the second box. Still hoping for a nice hit, perhaps a clear cut. Or uh, exclusives, which I haven't pulled one yet today. So we have Emil Larmy Young Guns, so that's the Pittsburgh Penguins. Sometimes these guys just slide right in, and then other times you really have to be careful not to force it too much. I don't know who's planning on grading. I always try to handle the cards carefully. Could just be that sleeve in particular. There we go. I hope everyone has an excellent weekend ahead of them. And I know the Super Bowl is tomorrow. So I hope everybody makes good choices tomorrow. And if you're in Ontario like me, that you make sure to um, keep on quarantining and staying at home. So we have Tyler Bartuzzi, Upper Deck Portraits. And we have a French variation of Jared Spurgeon. So just in the bottom left hand corner, it does say uh, Francais. And I think their parallels are one in 160 packs. So pretty neat. We are down to four more packs. And then everyone can get on with their day. We have NHL Worldwide, Worldwide Philip Grubauer. Colorado is another team that uh, I think people should watch this year. They have a lot of young talent on their team. I actually haven't been following the rest of the NHL too closely, just mainly the Canadian division. So three more packs to go. And we have a David Pasternak Portraits card. Two packs left to pull something really nice. Although I think at this point I can safely say that we have beaten the odds in our boxes with some of the pulls that we've had. We have a predominant of Patrick Kane, one of the very talented players in the NHL right now. So we're on to our last pack. So I just want to thank you guys all for tuning in today. Please make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel and like this video. I will, as mentioned, I have one more break going on right now. It's probably about halfway full at this point. So please sign up, get that break full, and I'll be posting more breaks in the future. So we have a James Van Riemsdyk Upper Deck Canvas. I know some of the releases right now will probably be pushed back. Uh, they're waiting on more players to make debuts. 
so they can do young guns of them and rookies. All right, well, I'll just leave up this last card, and that is it. I do appreciate you tuning in, and I hope everyone stays safe and enjoys the rest of their weekend.